blame this on my father. Uh, my father took me to see um, the, the Gregory Peck movie of Moby Dick in 1957 when I was six years old and I just thought that's the way life should be and I made plans. I was going to run, run away to sea as soon as I turned 12 as I understood that was the age you did that sort of thing and, and become a cabin boy and work my way up. <laughs> And I was crushed uh, some years later to discover people didn't do that anymore and you had to go to school to be a sailor just like anything else in the world. And uh, so uh, I made other plans. Uh, but I always was interested in, in maritime history. I mean, it started with the whaling thing of, of uh, Moby Dick, uh, but I was interested in, in everything associated with the sea. Uh, my father encouraged this. and. Uh, I uh, went to maritime museums many times as a child, especially Mystic Seaport in, in Mystic, Connecticut, which was near where we lived at the time. And uh, so when I, um, when I was a teenager uh, here in Bath, uh, and uh, a, uh, a maritime museum uh, opened here in Bath uh, at that time, we went to, we went to see it. and. Uh, I even took a girl there on a date once who uh, uh, was, uh, she had no idea what to do with me, but she ended up marrying me and I'm still married to her. Uh, and uh, as a 15 year old, I became a volunteer at the museum and in later years I talked my way into, into uh, a job at the museum. And uh, I've been uh, assistant curator and curator and I've been library director and now I'm curator again. So I guess basically what you're telling me is if you're a young kid and you, you're going to go to the Maritime Museum, don't take a date. <laughs> <laughs> right. Or you'll end up married. I can't recommend that. <laughs> um, but uh, it worked for me, it's all I can say. Uh, and uh, yeah, as far as uh, uh, recommending my course to, uh, to uh, young kids who think they might be interested in working in a, in a museum, um, I will say it's an interesting uh, way to earn a living. There's always something new coming along and uh, uh, there's lots of things you can do in a museum uh, to maintain your interest uh, over the course of your life. I like the fact that it's different every day. I'm not just sitting behind a desk and doing the same darn thing every day. It's always, always something different. I'm going to uh, some far-flung part of Maine to look at a, a possible collection on the internet some of the time, checking out things on eBay. <laughs> I'm designing exhibits, uh, putting together exhibits, writing, doing research, uh, doing research on new uh, items that come into the collection, uh, doing research for articles or books or uh, exhibit text, uh, exhibit labels. Every day is something different. Uh, and you get to meet some characters uh, from all walks of life, <laughs> like many jobs. And there's enough technological change, too, uh, over the course of, of the years since 1971. Certainly there were no computers, for example, in, at the Maine Maritime Museum in 1971. Uh, and uh, a, lot of, a lot of changes in uh, the way exhibits get mounted and, and uh, exhibit graphics get printed. And, and uh, sound uh, gets added to exhibits, uh, motion pictures get added to exhibits. Uh, lots of different technology that, that's also interesting. Uh, I, I wouldn't be as interested to work in a, in a museum that was about something else. Uh, I'm more interested in, in uh, going to sea and the history of, of uh, uh, shipbuilding and the history of ships uh, and the stories of, uh, of people uh, on the water. Uh, I think that's, that's what's fascinating uh, and that's what keeps me uh, coming back and, and thinking I'm going to discover something really cool today. Mm -hmm.